Information in nature is currently being used in a great many fields, from construction to the health sector. And this information has resulted in the emergence of a new branch of science, biomimetics. The science of biomimetics studies the designs in nature and creates solutions based on these designs. The reason why the designs in nature are so perfect as to inspire technology is that they are all the works of God. The Almighty God reveals examples of His infinite wisdom in the creatures He has created. In this film, we shall be seeing examples of the science of biomimetics and examining what a huge proof of creation nature actually is. A great many different materials are employed in nature. And these materials possess very special qualities. They work in silence. They have attractive appearances and strong structures. And they can also be restored to their original state. Each of these materials has properties which can be used in technological studies. Porcelain is a frequently used material in daily life. It is found in a wide range of fields, from construction to the electricity sector. Its production requires temperatures of 1000 to 1500 degrees centigrade. Natural porcelain is also found in living things. One example is the shells of sea creatures. Furthermore, the formation of these shells requires a temperature of only 4 degrees centigrade. This amazing design attracted the attention of the Turkish scientist Ilhan Aksay. During his research into sea creature shells, Oxai became aware of the extraordinary structure of the abalone. This creature has a very resistant shell. So strong, in fact, that it is twice as tough as the ceramics produced by advanced technology. Billy Goodman, an American science writer, made the following comments on this material. Magnified 300,000 times with an electron microscope, the shell looks like a brick wall with calcium carbonate bricks alternating with a protein mortar. Despite the essentially brittle nature of the calcium carbonate, the shell is extremely strong and less brittle than man-made ceramics due to its laminated structure. Inspired by these models, Oxai developed a very hard and resistant material, a laminated version of the boron carbide aluminium material. It is used as armor on U.S. military vehicles. Man-made materials eventually crack and break. It is impossible to restore a broken material to its original state. It can only be partially repaired. Whereas materials in nature possess an extraordinary mechanism whereby they can renew themselves. Scientists studying this property have created self-renewing materials such as polymers and polycyclates. Mm -hmm. 
most of the materials in nature are made up of distinct components. These are known as composites. Fiberglass, used in a great many fields today, is an artificial composite. This material is light, strong, and flexible. Fiberglass is used in the production of sporting goods, Formula One race cars, yachts, and even aircraft and spacecraft parts. Yet this material has also been found in some living things right from the day they came into being. One of these is the crocodile. The special tissue in the crocodile's thick skin has the same structure as fiberglass. This tissue is made very strong by the fibers it contains. Added to the tissues, these fibers make the tissue exceedingly tough. Artificial composites are much weaker and more primitive than these. Natural composites, like all materials in nature, are an example of God's matchless artistry of creation. God indicates in the Quran that there are examples in the creatures he created. And in your creation and all the creatures he has spread about, there are signs for people with certainty. Another example of a natural composite are the tissues that join the muscles and bones together, tendons. Thanks to the fibers that constitute them, tendons are exceedingly strong and resistant. This explains why the tendon design has become a source of inspiration in the construction industry. The steel girder technology used in suspension bridges was developed with the same structure as tendons. Janine M. Benyus from Rutgers University writes in her book on biomimicry. The tendon in your forearm is a twisted bundle of cables, like the cables used in a suspension bridge. Each individual cable is itself a twisted bundle of thinner cables. Each of these thinner cables is itself a twisted bundle of molecules which are, of course, twisted helical bundles of atoms. This incomparable design in the tendon is one of the proofs of the artistry in God's creation. In one verse of the Quran, God reveals we created them and made their joints strong. And if we wish, we can replace them with others like them. In nature, a great many different species of insects produce silk. Yet the silk of one of these is really very special. The spiders. The spider's web is one of the strongest materials in the world. The silky spider thread, less than one millimeter across, is five times stronger than steel of the same dimensions. This thread can stretch up to four times its own length. It is so light 
that a thread stretching three times around the world would weigh no more than one kilogram. All spiders produce threads with different properties. And these threads can be restored to their original states. A spider can easily turn a damaged web back into silk again. For example, the spider, diadematos, uses the secretion glands in its abdomen to produce seven different types of thread. The DuPont Company, the world's largest manufacturer of chemical substances, initiated a major research study to examine spider thread. At the end of this long research, costing tens of millions of dollars, the molecular structure of spider thread was finally unraveled in the DuPont laboratories. Following that, this molecular structure was imitated to produce the strongest known material in the world, Kevlar. Although nowhere nearly as strong and resistant as spider thread, Kevlar is still the strongest material capable of being produced by man. Traveling at 150 meters a second, a bullet makes a hole in whatever it hits. Yet it cannot penetrate Kevlar. Kevlar is used in the production of bulletproof vests. In aircraft carrier housers to bring planes to a halt. In mine shoes in the space industry, and everywhere where strength is essential. Yet spider thread, which man imitated to produce Kevlar, is a great deal stronger than Kevlar itself. In other words, Using the most advanced technology and finest laboratories, the best scientists in the world studied the thread produced by a tiny insect and tried to imitate it. Even then, they still failed to match the ability of this tiny creature. That is because God created the spider. God gave this little creature the magnificent abilities it possesses.